Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Nanwal and today we will be starting with some more numerical based on the ILD. Uh, so first numerical says that the we need to find the shear force and bending moment. First, uh, you have to find shear force and bending moment at a section shown for the loaded beam. Okay, so this is the beam that has been given to you. Suppose this is A point, this is B point this is c point this is d point and this is e point and at section xx it has been asked to calculate the shear force and bending moment so when you have been told uh, that you have to calculate shear force and bending moment so first of all for calculating shear force you need to draw the ild for the shear force so how will you be making the ild for the shear force first of all you need to make the span of the beam this is the span okay now what you will do so at section xx it has been asked to uh, what uh, he has told that you have to calculate the shear force at that point so at that point we that at that point which you are calculating the shear force so at that point you have to provide the unit displacement uh, such that theta a equal to theta b so how will you provide that so i am providing a unit displacements here like this okay so the shear force diagram will be like this now you need to uh, find the coordinate of these points so this is a this is b and this is d here okay this is d here and this is C here. This is C, this is D, and this somewhere here it is E. Okay. So after drawing the ILD, this coordinate will be the distance that is here, that is uh, that thing I have already told you in previous lecture that this coordinate will be this distance that is B upon uh, the total length. That is now when we are calculating this. So this will be 2 plus 2 that is 4 upon total distance that is 7 okay so this coordinate is 4 upon 7 and this coordinate will be a upon total length a is here 3 and total length is 7 so we now we have calculated this length this coordinate and this coordinate okay now when we have these points, now you can calculate the value here and under which the udl is acting okay so you can calculate these points okay so this is the area of ILD that is under the UDL okay as you want to calculate the uh, shear force at this section so what you will do here you point load is acting at C point and here uh, UDL is acting so how much this coordinate will be you need to first of all calculate this coordinate so as this is 4 upon 7 so you can say that for 4 meters for 4 meters it is going 4 upon 7 upwards so for 1 meter it will be going 4 upon 7 upon 4 and for 2 meters it will be going into 2 that will be 2 upon 7 okay now we have calculated this point now for this point you can calculate that for 3 meters it is going for 3 meters it is going 3 upon 7 upward downward and so for 1 meter it will be going 3 upon 7 into 3 this is simply the unitary method that I have told you now for 1 2 meters it will go into 2 that it will be now it will be 2 upon 7 so now you have the value of this point you have the value of this point also now you can calculate this point also so this will be simple that for 3 meters it is going 3 upon 7 downwards for 1 meter it will be going 1 upon 7 downwards okay so now you have this point also now one thing that you need to know in case of UDL you can write down the note here that when you are calculating calculation of shear force in case of ILD when we are talking about you have to do is that that it is uh, based on this formula that you have to multiply the intensity of UDL intensity of UDL with the 
एरिया अंडर दी आईएलडी एरिया ऑफ आईएलडी अंडर दैट यूडीएस ओके so you have to do is that you have to multiply the intensity of the udl with the area of ild under the udl this is how you calculate the shear force in case of when the loading is udl okay in case of point load what you have done you have simply multiply the point load with the ild coordinates okay uh, i have multiplied at that point when we are given the point load we will simply multiply that so for example this one we have multiplied 15 into 1 by 7 that will give you the shear force at that point in the previous numerical i have told you that in case of point loading how we will calculate and now in case of udl how will you see you have to multiply the intensity of the udl with the area of the ild under now simply calculate the Uh, shear force in this numerical shear force is, will be now write down the equation that at x axis when we are calculating the shear force at x axis so this is negative one this is positive one so how will you write down the equation so the equation will be first of all see this 50 is with at c point okay so i am writing that 50 kilo newton Will be multiplied with the this ordinate that is one of minus one point seven. Okay, now plus this one that is under the UDL. So d to this point x point we are having the area under the UDL. So for UDL we have to do is intensity of UDL is sixty. and that will be multiplied by the area under the udl so area of this parallelogram will be half into sum of parallel side that is 2 upon 7 that is minus minus 3 upon 7 into the distance between them that is this distance that is equal to 1 so now i have this value also now other point is this point so this point will be Under UDL only, that is 60 into sum of parallel side that will be half into sum of parallel side will be 4 by 7. That is 4 by 7 plus 2 by 7, and these both are positive. Okay, into the length, length uh, distance between them is 2, so multiplied by 2. So multiplied by 2 here. Okay, so. This is the equation. Now start solving this equation. You will get the value. This will be equal to 160 upon 7 kilo newton. Okay. So this is how you will calculate the shear force in case of the UDL. Okay. So it is the intensity of UDL into the area of the ILD under the UDL. Okay. Now you have been told to. Calculate the bending moment also. So for that you will be drawing ILD for bending moment. So for that first of all you will be drawing the ILD for bending moment. So ILD for bending moment will be first of all span here, and at this point you have been asked to calculate the bending moment. So here you will be providing, you will be lifting this point by AB by L. Okay, so this is. the point i have lifted by ab by l so a is the distance that is this distance from here to here that is 3 and this distance is 4 so we have to lift this point by ab by l so a is 3 and b is 4 so by l total length is 7 so this point is 12 by 7 okay so now we have this point so this point is known that it is 12 by 7 so under the udl is this point so we need this ordinate and here this point is under udl so this point is under the udl and one point that is here that is under point load okay so you need these ordinates so these ordinates will be how much first of all you can 
see from this point that this distance is 4 so for 4 meters it is going 12 by 7 upwards okay from right hand side I am seeing so this distance is 2 this is 2 so for 4 meters it is going you can say from here for 4 meters it is going how much upwards that is 12 by 7 so for for 1 meter it will be going 12 by 7 divided by 4 and for 2 meters it will go how much upwards into 2 so it will be uh, 6 by 7 so this coordinate is 6 by 7 similarly you can calculate this point also you can say from this point that for 3 meters it is going 12 by 7 upwards so for 1 meter it will be going 12 by 7 into 3 ok so for 2 meters you need to calculate for this point so for 2 meters it will be into 2 so 3 4 that is 8 by 7 so this coordinate is 8 by 7 so this point will be uh, that it is going we need to calculate this coordinate also so for similarly for 3 meters it is going 12 by 7 upwards so for 1 meter it will be going how much that is 12 upon 7 into uh, 12 upon 7 uh, as for 3 meters it is going 12 upon 7 for 1 meter it will go 12 upon 7 into divided by 3 so that it is 4 by 7 so for 1 meter we need that it is 4 by 7 so now we have all the coordinates that the ILD coordinate at where the point load is acting it is 4 by 7 this is 8 by 7 where UDL starts and UDL is ending at 6 by 7 so we have all the values now we have need to calculate the bending moment at xx point so for calculation of bending moment how will you calculate the bending moment it is simple that now you have to calculate the bending moment at xx point so bending moment will be equal to how much first of all the 50 kN load is acting that is will be multiplied by the coordinate 4 by 7 ok now other point will be added now here this point is having UDL so for UDL the similar formula will be intensity of UDL into the area under the ILD curve so that will be half into sum of parallel side half into sum of parallel side now there are three points one this point this point and this point so you can break down into two so first I am taking this point and this point so it will be 16 to half into sum of parallel side that is 8 by 7 plus 12 by 7 into distance is 1 so this is one point now for second one and this area will be 16 to half into sum of parallel side is 12 by 7 plus 6 by 7 and distance is 2 so now, now calculate this equation and you will get the point as 268 point five seven okay two sixty eight point five seven that is kilo newton meter so this is the value of bending moment at section xx so i hope this point is clear that how you need to calculate the value of shear force in bending moment where udl is acting and where the point load is active okay so the basically the structural designer work is based on calculation of the moving loads so the position of the moving loads and where there will be the maximum shear force and maximum bending moment at which point so this is the work of design engineer structural design engineer so so for finding the maximum value of shear force and bending moment the influence line diagram is drawn for rolling loads and in case of rolling loads only these uh, four types are possible that is when the point load is acting okay simply point load is acting and when the udl is acting and these there are two points 
uh, more that are to be considered during uh, the study of ILD that is series of you uh, series of point loads are acting that I have told you that one load is this one and one load is this one so series of point loads are acting on the girder or you can say that when the UDL is acting and that I have told you um, that UDL is acting that is for finite distance and there can be a study of UDL for uh, when there is uh, UDL that is greater than the span of the girder or beam okay so that these four cases are only possible in case of uh, because this is the study of rolling load so we have to study the point load series of point loads UDL and uh, the UDL for finite distance and when the uniformly distributed load ha is for more than the span longer than the span so that is the case four cases you need to show okay so I hope these points are clear so I will be sending you the assignment that you need to do so thank you for now